Don in London, hello. October the 4th, 2009. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. That sounds like the police going home for a cup of tea. Yeah, about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. All bad jokes. Um, my addictive substance, alcohol. My behaviour, I guess. Trying to be perfect, never so. Workaholic, relationshipaholic, gymaholic you name it, trying to be perfect, didn't work. And these days, I'm glad to say, it's just progress, not perfect. And life is in the journey of now so my fellowship. It is a fellowship, fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, full of unique, authentic people. And uh, I don't speak for AA or the unique, authentic people in it. It's uh, what we choose to do to share recovery, experience, strength and hope. So I choose to share what I learn on a daily basis and utilise the readings of the AA Fellowship literature to help me provide guidance for myself. So these videos are really a form of meditation for me, a reflection on where I am now and what I may do in this one day. So what has helped me along the way? Family kept me alive long enough. Community, I suppose I was ostracised for quite a while and uh, found myself homeless, which is not uncommon when we're dealing with uh, addiction which takes us to rock bottoms we never thought or imagined we would experience. So the gift today, really, uh, professionals helped me as well. They got me, kept me alive long enough to find a fellowship where I could find some wisdom, experience strength and hope on a daily basis, to find a way out of this conundrum of being in active addiction and then into recovery. So recovery is one day long for me, and the AA Fellowship has a statement of intent or a preamble shared at every meeting, and it goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So key sentences in there for me. Only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. And that final sentence, although all sentences are important, our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And that's very much about the 12th step of the 12th step action programme about uh, sharing a message and Sunday morning around about 10 October the 4th 2009 it was a good day yesterday uh, it was full of bits and pieces and getting to a meeting of AA and meeting up with um, somebody I, I found uh, a friendship through the internet and it's great in fellowship to find these connections and then to see people in reality so whilst I do these videos I do not underestimate the value of always going to meetings if I can get to them and I really started these videos as a way of sharing experience, strength and hope with anyone who was unable to get to meetings of AA or whatever fellowship, an anonymous fellowship you might wish to attend and that's how it grew, a bit like Topsy uh, but I, I feel it's good to do these videos to share what are the 12 steps of AA a program of action to change attitude and behaviour. That's the steps, 12 steps for people and 12 traditions to keep the fellowship of AA safe or any an anonymous fellowship. The uh, traditions might be written slightly differently but uh, the sentiment is the same which is around unity, service and recovery and sharing a message. So October 10th month of the year <coughs> Uh, tenth step, which reads, just so I get it exactly right, continue to take personal inventory and when we were wrong promptly admitted it. And, you know, personal inventory really is about the assets and liabilities of our attitudes and behaviour during the day. So if we are alert to how are we today, how are we feeling, why and what can we do, we're on to a good start because we're examining the progress we're making and how we are relating to other people in the world and to people, places and things as we often say 
in the programme. We are powerless over them, but we do get choices around how we behave and how our attitudes are. So we can wake up with a bad attitude and uh, with a bit of reflection we can improve it or we can just be in contact with another person and our attitude gets better simply because we're relating who we are and what we are and what's going on. And that happened to me earlier, which is a good thing. I was feeling a little bit uh, isolated and alone. So it's good when we get a phone call from a friend in fellowship. And she is a good mate. So it's always good when you, you know, it's just contact. Conscious contact with another human being can make the, the difference. And as many people say, it's a spiritual program. So for me, spiritual is truth. Uh, as Gandhi said, God is truth and God works through people. So when another person rings me up and says, how are you, Don? And is interested enough to listen, <coughs> excuse me, then I know that uh, I've got conscious contact with God too. And that makes me happy. So daily reflections for today, the, uh, the reading. A necessary pruning. It's a necessary pruning. We know that the pains of drinking had to come before sobriety and emo emotional turmoil before serenity. I love spending time in my garden, feeding and pruning my beautiful flowers. I'm not on Farmville, by the way. One day, as I was busily snipping away, a neighbour stopped by. She commented, Oh, your plants are so beautiful. It seems such a shame to cut them back. I replied, I know how you feel, but the excess must be removed so they can grow stronger and healthier. Later I thought that perhaps my plants feel pain, but God and I know it's part of the plan and I've seen the results. I was quickly reminded of my precious AA program and how we all grow through pain. I ask God to prune me when it's time so I can grow, and I hope it's when I'm still alive, and not prune me down to uh, the afterlife. Although, you know, I was at a meeting last night, and this is a serious point. We all get afflictions in recovery, same as any, any normal person. And uh, uh, there was a, a, a share about what it's like to have stage 4 cancer and be facing that on a daily basis. And the person sharing said, you know what, I don't have fear today simply because I'm keeping myself right-sized in the day, that I'm making the best of what is in front of me and is is what it's what I experience now what, which is important not what I might fear in the future and of course you know we we need not fear the end really in those circumstances or any circumstances if we're living as best we can in the here and now and I think that's a you know a good reflection on a Sunday because it's difficult enough <coughs> to keep one's head above water when uh, we have a an active brain which can say go back and get a drink to take the edge off and I prefer not to do that on a daily basis but it's a, it is a daily reprieve in all respects and addiction is a, a deadly illness as much as any other illness or disease is deadly so if we are able to make the best of what is in front of us and I, that's not glib I also have chronic conditions I understand what that person was saying anyway in the 12 by 12 and so we've just about got time for it. Step 10 about the inv spot inventory, uh, a paragraph on page 89 in the small blue book. Although all inventories are alike in principle, that is, taking uh, an inventory of our assets and liabilities in step 4, which was the big one, the time factor does distinguish one from another. There's the spot check inventory taken at any time of day, whenever we find ourselves getting tangled up. There's the one we take at day's end when we review the happenings of the hours past, just past. Here we cast up a balance sheet, crediting ourselves with things well done and chalking, chalking up debits where due. There are those occasions when alone or in the company of our sponsor or spiritual advisor we make a careful review of our progress since the last time. Many AAs go in for annual or semi-annual house cleanings. Many of us also like the experience of an occasional retreat from the outside world where we can, qu can quiet down for an undisturbed day or so of self-overhaul and meditation. And my time is up. So the serenity to prayer to God or good conscience. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference is simply just for today. <laughs>